And you have to give Microsoft kudos or credit on this. This is one thing they truly did right. Um, this is one of the things that really put them over the top against their competitors is their implementation of group policy. And again, I'll just kind of scroll through a few and let you know if hopefully at, at the resolution that this ends up being at when it's compressed, you can still see some of these group policy settings. Um, okay, we're going to go back to user rights assignment. And sorry, security. Let me go back here. And here's what we want. Here, this will be an interesting one. Let's define um, a message text for users. We'll just add a log on message here. Unauthorized users and Hmm. We'll just have a no nonsense policy for dealing with trespassers. Um I'll go ahead and add that, and then here will be a, the title, and a lot of warning message there. There you go. And that'll be for our users when they attempt to log on, and. We have given logon locally privileges, so um, one more thing we want to do. Let's go ahead and set up auditing. We'll, we'll going to talk about auditing now. Auditing is sort of a two-step process, but I need to set it up here to enable auditing of object access. And you can audit all kinds of things, log on, log off events. Um, we will we'll just do that. We'll set that up for failure. Now. Um, in addition to modifying group policy settings here, you also need to set up auditing on the DACL for an object. So we'll go do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and we'll come back, and there's there's just so much more to look at with group policy. Like I said, we could spend days uh, covering group policy and talking about it. So we'll try to condense it. But one th important thing to remember, whenever you change group policy, uh, you need to use a command. And I'll do it from a command prompt so you can see what goes on. You could just have typed in start you know, and then GP update, but in this case I'll do it from a command prompt. And that way if there are any problems, you know, error messages or things, then we can see them. And GP update, what that does is it forces group policy to be replicated. Group policy is stored in the sysfall folder created when you, you know, run the Active Directory installation was your DC promo and the ntds.didfall is created. So they're stored there in sysfall and they're replicated out to other domain controllers across the network. So what you do with group policy is, you know, Active Directory or network-wide. It covers all of your workstations and servers. So in this case, everything's okay. Our group policy updated. If you make a group policy change and you notice, again, you know, you could just, commonly you could just run it from here if you want, but you don't really have an opportunity to see the output if something goes wrong. So, you know, your choice, launch a command prompt, run GP update first. Um, or just run it from the command line. Make a little shortcut or a batch file. But um, if if you do make you know group policy changes and you, you notice that they don't seem to be taking effect, then one of the things that may you know be wrong is that you forgot to run GP update and you simply forgot to update the policy. And sometimes, believe it or not, there are quirks where you even have to actually reboot a domain controller for certain policy settings to take effect properly or for certain changes to take effect that you've made in group policy. But for now, we just want to look at our message settings and our auditing. So we're going to, let's again go ahead and set up auditing on top secret. And so I'll go to the security tab, edit the ACES on the DACL. I want to go to advanced. And again, for auditing, I'm going to add the domain local group that my global security group has been added to. Again, we want to follow AGU DLP. So and I don't remember exactly what it was called, top secret something. Top secret access. So I want to audit anybody who's a member of this group and I'll audit both success and failure. Um, 
Now, remember we had also had to enable that in the group policy settings, but now we have to enable it here. I'm going to say um, include inheritable auditing entries for this object's parent. Replace all existing inheritable auditing on all descendants with inheritable auditing entries for this object. Yes, I want to audit anything that's in that directory or a subdirectory or a child object of that. Again, here's the take ownership capability. And if I wanted to, we could, you know, modify or change ownership to, in this case, we'll leave it as administrators. But, you know, if we had another group or another user wanted to take ownership there, we could. Um, that's just another capability. Effective permissions. Um, and again, remember the effective permissions tool. We'll just review that. But if I wanted to type in a user, Dr. Evil, even though he surreptitiously and evilly and deceptively um, falsified information and gained entry into the the you know global security or the domain local group that allows him access, he's a part of a group called you know evil agents, which is explicitly not trusted. So even though he implicitly has permission to, you know, access top secret. He has been explicitly denied, so he can't. So that's just kind of a nice tool there. Remember, we had talked about that before. Um, remember, let's look at Austin Powers. Notice he has full permissions because of his security group and domain local group membership. But anyway, back to auditing. So we've set up auditing. We're going to click OK. We're going to click OK. And we're going to log out and log in as Austin Powers and check these things out. Let's close our GPMC and we don't need to save our... It's basically like a bookmark. Um, you're not really saving the policy settings. That you save when you edit. But you are saving uh, the GPM, uh, GPMC settings. So let's log out Group Policy Management Console for those of you who know. Alright, so I'm going to log in. Now notice I have a message. Pirates Top Secret Logon Warning. Welcome to Top Secret of the Domain Pirates. Unauthorized users and enemy agents will be shot for treason. So that's sort of our, you know, but where you would add your companies or your organizations, log on message, warning, cautionary statement, or whatever you would like to add. Um, you know, hi, have a beautiful, wonderful, nice day. Why don't people do that? We should do that. We should all add positive, loving, kind messages to our log on. And I didn't get the password right there. And now we're going to log in as Austin Powers. There's our, our message. And I'll go ahead and switch. Austin Powers is a complex password. For Austin Powers, let's go ahead and utilize Windows Explorer, and we'll go over here into my computer, and we'll go to Top Secret, and we'll add something, and we'll change something. Let's go in here. Here was our batch file. Let's edit it. Yeah, I guess I meant to say yeah, yeah, baby. Or what is that statement that Austin Powers always makes? So we save some things and you know, just perform some actions here that we want to log in our security log because we have set up auditing for object access. And re again, remember that was a two-step process. We have to define it in group policy and use GP update. And then we also have to edit the DACL on the object to set up auditing for that object. So let's log out.